course. I come back on the town's Miner's Day celebration. Well, you always did have great timing. No time to dwell on that. Focus. You tried Dennis's cell phone. No answer. So what now? Ask around, see if anyone's seen Dennis today. Maybe see if anything jogs my memory. I've heard worse plans. Basswood's small. If Dennis came through Main Street, someone saw him. doing out here? Hey, Millie. <laughs> Waiting for my mom to get off her shift at the pharmacy. Drawing. I got a new journal after I left the old one somewhere. <laughs> See? Did you get home okay last night? Yeah. I bike everywhere. It's not like anything scary bad happens in Basswood. At least not normally. <laughs> I heard you asking about my dad last night. Well, I guess I wasn't very subtle, was I? No, you were not. <laughs> Did you find out anything about my dad? Not yet.
situation. Anyway, the past is the past. I just accepted a big business opportunity, which makes tidying up my books in time extra important, even if it kills me. Don't you want to come around, come around and tell me? Don't you want to come around here? <laughs> I didn't think I'd see the day where you'd consider a franchise contract. Ha! Only the day God calls for me. Have you met Hugh Kirkland already? The new pharmacist. He's helping me with a few improvements. Angel investing. Can you believe it? I actually can't. What did he ask for in return? Oh dear, I can't believe you're so cynical at your age. People in small towns do help each other. Every now and again. That's not just something that happens on made-for-TV movies. I'll talk to you later. Good luck with your books. Mm-hmm. Glad to see Joan hasn't changed too much. <laughs> Cowboy must have lost his keys. Christina, always bringing positivity. Good to see someone finally knows how to take care of a plant. It's basic, yet so many people manage to mess it up. A statue honoring miners. Pretty meaningless now. Joe. Sam? <laughs> you old bridge jumper, how you been? What's the calendar say? Two years, Joe. It's been two years. Too long. I heard you showed up yesterday. The boys give you trouble? <laughs> they might have given me a bit of a welcome back. After the mine closed, well, it ain't easy to put food on the table. Don't let that weigh on you. No one else has lost their legs recently. So, how have you been holding up? Terribly. But Anna keeps me young. How'd you ever let her get away? Uh, you probably know better than me. I heard all about it. Still, I always liked you. Straight shooters are a rare breed these days. I like a man that can look me in the eye and say what he means. I noticed you weren't at the bar last night. Went home after the service. Being crippled takes it out of you. Normally, I'd be rotting away in my recliner, but I like to come out, see the decorations, pay my respects to old iron here. This town's been a mining town before I was born, and it'll be one after I die. It's good to get out and celebrate your roots every now and then. I don't have the same perspective on Miner's Day that other people have. No, I suppose you wouldn't. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? I wish. Just about the only guy I could talk hockey with. Not football? 
I want to talk football. I can just grab anybody on the street. Dennis actually enjoys a man sport. But no, I haven't seen him. I have places I need to be, but it's good to see you. Just promise you won't wait two years before saying boo again. <laughs> I'll do my best. Hey, can I ask you something? Hello, young man. And of course you can ask. No promise of answering. Why do you bother cleaning the memorial? Well, everything has to look its best for today. Especially the miner. I really didn't think it was going to happen this year. Good thing Mr. Kirkland decided to help out. And besides, that way people can remember with pride we used to be rednecks. That matters to you? It should matter to every West Virginian. And why do you think it should matter so much? How many West Virginians does it take to screw in a light bulb? This doesn't sound like a history lesson. You answer my question, I'll answer yours. So, how many West Virginians? Two. One to hold the light bulb, the other to rotate the planet. <laughs> not bad. The one I have in store is three. One to replace the light bulb, two to complain about how the old one was better. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, just not the kind of funny you laugh at. So, you still want to hear the story? I'm all ears. This fella here is a reminder of when coal miners stood together. You see, back a hundred years ago, you'd be safer in the trenches than down in the mines. He didn't sit right with our boys. They demanded better conditions. Of course, the corporations, being what they are, refused. And sent strike breakers. The mine wars. The miners came out in force, union men. Met the strike breakers over in Logan County. That's right. 10,000 strong. And it all came to a head at Blair Mountain. The miners tied red bandanas around their necks for solidarity. Brotherhood. At least a hundred men died in that battle. Blood spilled for what we have now. <laughs> oh. It definitely makes for one hell of a story. There's heroes everywhere. Heroes who died for what I have. So, I do my part. Feel I owe it to them. I get it. I think you do. Anyway, I get back to it. Gonna give her a real spit shine. You take care now. Betting there'll be a few more cups before she leaves. <laughs> Some things never change. Sam, I didn't think you'd actually show up. I didn't think I would either. But hey, sometimes we surprise ourselves. So, uh, I hear you got in a fight after I left the wake? 
Honestly, if it happened again, I'd have hit him again. He was asking for it. That does sound like Dennis. Yeah, speaking of, you haven't seen him today, have you? Why? Afraid your powerful blows laid him up? <laughs> so what are you working on? <laughs> I'm working on an article on how nature does its best to reclaim the land after a strip mining operation. Why are you looking for Dennis? I can tell something has you spooked. I can always tell. Go on, tell her. You could honestly use a non-imaginary person to confide in. She might slow me down, or try to involve the cops. She might do those things, yes, or she might be someone who you can trust, who can help. I just want to apologize to him for what happened yesterday. Well, he's probably working at the Basswood Jungle. He's there most weekends. Thank you. I'll check that out. We, we're not going to have coffee? Okay. Bye then. Hey, don't remember seeing you in town before. Passing by? I suppose. I grew up here. Been gone for a couple of years. I'm not staying long. When you managed to leave and still came back? You'd never see me again if I left. Why don't you then? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna take my millions of dollars and make a run for it. I can barely get by, like everyone else here. Too poor to stay, too poor to leave. At least the basswood jungle is still standing. Locked. I should check the back. My, my, my. Look what we got here. Showing your face in town again. I thought you were smarter than that. But I'm glad we ran into you. We have unfinished business after all. Joel, look. Careful. I don't want to have this conversation again. We clear? Sorry, could you repeat that? Clear enough? Maybe one more time. De Declan's right down the street. This is a small town. There's not enough room for you in it.
been a while. This place used to be my home, or at least felt like it. Where is Dennis? He should be in here. Dennis! Dennis. What happened? Who... Is that how I got blood on me? Did I? Do this, Sam. When you focus, you can think through any problem. Keep going. You got this. Focus on me, Sam. Don't give up, Sam. You almost have it. This is Dennis's office. There must be some clues around. Come on, Sam. Keep it together. You can solve this. Figure this out before Dennis dies again and the panic overwhelms you. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Blood all over the monitor. Not much to go on. I need something useful. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Gunshot. The bullet went clean through. The killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? The bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. From the angle, this was the shooter's position. Was it me? There's nothing useful in those drawers. Dennis had his gun on him at the wake. The bullet stopped here, small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun.
gun is gone. He had it earlier. Where did it go? The shooter used Dennis's gun, but I didn't have it. Sam, stop it. Come back to reality. But I... I... You didn't do anything. Dennis was already dead when you arrived. Can't you see? Dennis was shot, and you don't even own a gun. How could you have done it? All you did was move his body, which is how your shirt got stained. Think about it, Sam. Calm down and think. You're... you're right. I can see it. I have a complete picture now. Blood on the shirt was Dennis's, but I didn't kill him. I found him dead. Blackout drunk, panicked. I stumbled to my car. Luckily, I ended up back at the hotel and not wrapped around a pole. Now, I know I didn't do it. The police, though, may not feel the same way. I need to search the area. See if I can find out why someone would murder Dennis. I need to find out why Dennis was killed. It may have something to do with Nick. Dennis's computer is still signed in. You didn't deserve this. No one deserves this. Emails between Nick and Dee. They're talking in codes. Nothing stated clearly. They didn't want to risk anyone learning of their meetings. Smart. Someone was watching. Whatever Nick was looking into seemed big, but he said it fizzled out.
puzzle comes together. Dennis was reading everyone's emails. He found out that Nick hadn't stopped his investigation like he'd told Walter. And that Nick was still talking to some informant. Then he decided to tell me. And now he's dead. I need to look through any notes Nick left in his office and check Walter's computer. They have to have something for me to go on. Nick must have left some notes behind somewhere. And Walter also might have something on Nick's work. I should look around. she cared about then was looking at bugs and drawing them. Nick's computer is missing. He took it home to work or stolen. something around here that hints at Walter's password. Hopefully his password reminder isn't some esoteric book reference. Ugh. My heart's desire. It could mean a person, but also a place. Ugh. My heart's desire. Walter was never tech savvy. He just uses words that mean something to him. There's a good chance there's a clue in his office. <laughs> Is Granddad Rock a thing? If so, Walter and Anna are both into it. Good for Walter that Judith is doing all right. She means the world to him. So much so that she could be his password. Prin never looked happy a day in her life. Been Walter's cat for years. Maybe he set her name as his password. I can't imagine Walter getting a suntan at the beach. He can't stay still. Keep looking. That's not it. I have to keep looking. That was just after Anna came on. And we really were a small clan.
He loves all his first editions, but Alice in Wonderland always came out on top. Wouldn't be surprised if that was his password. If I had the code, I could get in here. Walter had this article framed after he saw the boost in traffic the Haven got. Basswood is his blood and soul. Wouldn't surprise me if he said it as his password. Just reminders. Nothing that could be used as a password. A photo Walter took of his first desk on his first day of work. Nick inherited it. She used to be the office administrator ages ago. And I'm in. Let's see what secrets you got in here, Walter. Mostly standard so far, by the book. I see why Walter wasn't worried. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Nick would never drive without his seatbelt on. And he always kept his window open. The car really burned. Though that's very uncommon in most crashes. So, Walter got the police report from Bess. Nick was supposedly drunk at the wheel, which doesn't sound like him. And his seatbelt was off and his windows up, which both sound very wrong. Walter seemed to buy it, but I don't know if I do. I think it's time I check Nick's office. Hope he still leaves his notes out. Nope. And with something like 10,000 combinations, I doubt I'll stumble on it. <sighs> I 
Four digits. Wonder if that's the new code for the archives. Thanks, bug. Your obsessive snooping pays off. Nick always kept extensive records of his work. He was almost obsessive. How could there be so little information regarding his last investigation? Nick was looking into the impact the closure of the mine had on Basswood. But what was he looking for? Nick was traveling all over. Train tickets, hotel bills, out of state even. He was tracking something, or someone. Nick had a contact. Same name as in the email. He was onto something big. What Nick was looking into was something big and dangerous. It's why he was so careful. So, did you come to the logical conclusion to this mess we're in? Just a hint. We should get out of town immediately. Dennis tried to talk to me about Nick, and that's what got him killed. Exactly. Like I said, you should get out of town. And the details of Nick's death, it doesn't sound like him. Two years is a long time, Sam. He may have changed more than you know. Changed decade-long habits? I need to go to the crash site. Just remember, if you're right... Sam? What's happening? Dennis. That's Dennis. What happened? Is he... Anna, I is listen he... to me. Anna, I did not kill Dennis. Oh my god, no. It's... How could this happen? He died last night. Hours ago. Not much we can do right now. He asked me to meet him here after, but I was so drunk I arrived late. And the person that actually showed up killed him. Person? Sam, you were clearly hiding something when we talked at the cafe. Was it this? Anna, I didn't kill Dennis, I promise. Of course, I know that. It's the only reason I'm not running for my life, but why haven't you said anything? At least to me. I wish you trusted me. This... it won't look good. We need to call the police. They'll think I killed him. I thought I did it first. I have no alibi. This is not about you. Dennis had a family. They have to know what happened. It's the right thing to do. Do you want Walter to find his body come Monday? She has a point. Someone is going to find him eventually. Involving the police would only slow us down. I'll be more efficient on my own. Efficient and possibly friendless. You already decided not to trust Anna about the shirt back at Christina's. If you don't listen to her now, what will she think of you?
But not that phone. Use one of the landlines here and don't leave your name. You remember I'm a journalist, right? I know how to keep things confidential. Also, I think whoever did this might be linked to Nick's accident. This is about Nick? The crash? I'm going to the crash site to confirm my suspicions. Sam, I'm not... I'm not sure this is a good idea, going on your own like that. I'd like you to come with me. Whatever I find, I don't want to face it alone. Okay. You didn't trust me with all this at the cafe, but I am trusting you. Let me call the police from a landline real quick before we go.